the heart of it for me is, you know, trips off everybody's tongue. The, the great commandments, you know, Jesus is asked, like, what's, what's the hard thing? What's the basic, deepest, most important thing? He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength, love your neighbors yourself. Now, everybody pays attention to the word love, but they don't pay attention to those, all those alls, all heart, all soul, all strength, all mind. Now, the human mind is not just a calculating machine or something that operates on a purely rational basis. Reason is very important. We can get to truth by reason. But God has endowed us with a profound, mysterious, shaping imagination. And there's certain truth we only come to through that. Shakespeare has a, has a great phrase, he, in one of, of course he has a great phrase, it's Shakespeare, but he has, it's a bit in one of his plays where someone says, imagination apprehends more than cool reason ever comprehends. Yeah? Now that's where we need art. Art makes the shapes and sounds and, and, and the poems and the, and the, that allow our apprehensions, the things we kind of nearly quite understood but not quite, the glimmerings on the edge, kind of come and make their home in works of art. And we go into works of art and almost each time we go we meet a new set of truths and apprehensions. It's very different from a mathematical statement where you go two and two is four, I know that I get it, I don't sort of need to read that again. Whereas I listen to a Steve Bell song again or I read a poem, you know, again, a little bit more is coming through to me. A little bit more is being drawn out of me. Um, so I think if Christians are to fulfill the commandment to love the Lord with all their soul and all their heart and all their mind, they're going to have to love the Lord with all their art then, with all their music. Uh, it's going to take every single thing that we do soulfully as human beings is ultimately a means of loving God. So I don't think you can love God just by showing up for the sermon on Sunday.